It's Danelle Flanders for Paper Tray Inks Make It Monday and today I want to talk about uh, envelope wraps. I saw the idea in a store um, not too long ago and they were just gorgeous, gorgeous and I thought wow that's a cool idea but they were about six or seven dollars for a package of envelope wraps and there were only six of them in the package so I thought well I could probably make those myself. So I came home and um, went through my paper training supplies and this is what I came up with. To create the envelope wraps, I wanted a die that was long enough to actually wrap around my envelope and it just dresses up the envelope. Um, you can also use it to write the recipient's name and address on. So the die that I found that worked the best for me was the wine bottle die. If you don't have the wine bottle die, it's okay. You can use, there's a quite a variety of dies that will work. The notched banner dies, um, the stars and the hearts. You could use the half and half dies. They would be long enough to wrap around your envelope. Or you could use one of the tag sale dies and just cut two. Cut one for the front and one for the back so it looks like it's on uh, folded and on both sides. You could also just cut a piece of cardstock if you don't have any of the paper tray ink um, dies that will work for this. So let's get started making the envelope wraps. Um, I do apologize if you hear road construction. Um, they decided to work on our road right out in front of our house today. So sorry about, about the extra noise you hear in the background. Um, so what, what I used is watercolor paper. I grabbed um, a watercolor pad at Michael's and I went ahead and die cut some of the um, wine bottle dies out of watercolor paper and then I have some watercolors that I grabbed at Michael's too and you can use a coupon on these and I think it was only about six dollars with the 40% off coupon and you'll need a paint palette, a brush, and some water. Alright, the first one we're going to make is this one. I use the uh, Bigger Blooms stamp set for the flowers and uh, Simply You for the sentiment. So let's get started with that one. And when you do the wine bottle dies, you'll notice that the little circles come out. You can save these to make little seals for your envelopes. Um, I would run them through a Xyron to uh, make them sticky on the back and then you can stamp on, on the front and make little seals for your envelopes. So keep those, set those aside. Um, I'm going to start with bigger blooms and the little flower with uh, summer sunrise ink. I'm just going to do a little floral uh, design in the corner here. I'm going to stamp some of the leaf sprays with aqua mist. in a little bit with um, Harvest Gold with a smaller flower. This little flower. And all I did was kind of fill in around the leaf sprays. Make it look like a little fuller of a bouquet. Next I'm using um, Soft Stone and Smoky Shadow with the little dot stamp and I'm going to just fill in a few little dots around the floral spray here. Just a couple of smoky shadow ones since they're a lot darker. I'm going to use the U from Simply U stamp set with Raspberry Fizz ink. And a sentiment that says, Our love more than you will ever know will go underneath. 
and I'm going to use um, True Black ink. Pick up a little black, and that's going to go right under the U. Now we're going to get our watercolors out, and I'll show you a fun thing you can do with your stamping. Ahead and added some red and some black watercolors to my paint palette and I'm going to take a brush with quite a bit of water on it and you can even wet the spots on your wrap that you're going to add watercolor to so it's not so dark when you add the color and then pick up a little bit of color if you get too much it's okay you can uh, just take a paper towel and dab it off Less is more when you first start, and you can always add add more color as you go. But you should start off light and then see how you like it, and you can add more if you want it a little bit darker. Okay, I think I'm going to let that dry, and I'll show you how we do the... Um, the envelope with the splashes. So I have here some paper tray ink A2 envelopes. So I'm going to grab one of these. And then to make splashes with uh, watercolors, I grab some paint on my, or water on my paintbrush, a little bit of black, and then I simply use my finger to splash the color on, flick the paintbrush and splash the color onto my envelope. If you get too much, you can take your paper towel again and dab it again. And it also helps it dry a little bit quicker. Okay. And then um, back to the tag, I forgot to show you one thing. Um, what's nice about the watercolor paper is you can take some water and just go right over your stamping and it uh, blends the, the ink. It kind of creates a cool effect. So you can do like all of the pink items first, wipe off your brush, grab a little bit more water, then you can do all of the aqua mist items. Might work a little bit better if you uh, blend them when they're still a little bit wet from stamping. Can I create a cool watercolor effect. Okay, I'll let that dry for a minute. Um, you can also heat it with the heat tool to get it to dry a little bit faster. But you can see on the original that um, when you fold the uh, envelope wrap or the wine bottle die, um, you can create a little cute little thing on the back. And this is kind of cool because depending on where you place it, it creates a seal to your envelope. So make sure that your card is inserted into the envelope before you actually adhere the um, wine bottle die down on the back. And so what I did was I took the envelope and the wine bottle die. You're going to go ahead and fold it and decide where you want it to be placed. And you'll flip it over and just take a pencil and draw inside this circle so you know where your stamping is going to be um, placed. Now I'll go ahead and stamp uh, similar to the front with uh, Summer Sunrise Aqua Mist with the little leaves. It's okay if it goes off the edge a little bit. Um, okay, then I'll do a couple of yellow Flowers, heart with harvest gold. And then we'll decorate the back of the um, wine bottle die. Okay, so take your wine bottle die and place it back where the pencil um, mark is, just so you can tell where you want the back sentiment to go. I'm just going to stamp you 
And then I have a little one that says are awesome. I'm going to stamp it in black. And what I did was just kind of curve it on my block a little bit so it can go right around the curve of the wine bottle die. And I'm just going to place it right around the curve. And then if you want to take your paintbrush again and just blend the pink in slightly, it's up to you. Kind of has a cool effect. And we'll let that dry and then we'll adhere the front piece. Okay, let's take that off and erase the pencil line. Okay. And then we know where we're going to want it to go. So we can just dab this off because it's still a little bit wet. Can grab some score tape. And if I were sending this through the mail, I would run this through um, a Xyron or a, a sticker machine to get all of the back um, full of adhesive. That way, you know when it goes through the mail, it's not going to come off. So I'll just turn it over and add this tape that I have here. This is actually called scrappy tape and it's really, really nice. Um, very sticky and works really well. I'm just going to add a few strips of this. To the front only, I don't really want to do the back yet because my envelope, once I stick it down on the back, it's going to seal the envelope so I don't want to stick the back down yet. Way I've found is just to line it up with the where your pencil lines were and then flip it around and adhere it. Isn't that cute? This would be great for um, someone that you're going to hand deliver it to or if you're putting it inside of a gift since there isn't much room to write an address on this one. Okay, so I'll show you some of the other ones that I made and hopefully that will give you some ideas for your envelope wraps. On this one, I stamped the envelope with Background Basic Super Stripes. And then on the wrap itself, I used watercolor paper again and post-it notes to mask off a border. And then I just stamped with bigger blooms uh, with a few different colors, Raspberry Fizz, Tropical Teal, Summer Sunrise, and Enchanted Evening. And after the stamping was done, I just took a paintbrush and some water and just painted over, over with the water like all of the raspberry fizz flowers first and then all of the tropical teal leaves just with water and I kind of blended them in and gave it a cool effect. On this one I um, added a piece of pattern paper to the envelope. Um, I used journal accessories to emboss some lines on the envelope wrap and then I painted over the whole thing with um, watercolors again. And then I used bigger blooms for the flower and mini blooms for the sentiment. And the last one, um, very similar to the others, I used Bountiful Banners for the banner, Special Delivery Sentiments for um, the sentiment, and um, bigger blooms again for the flowers. And then I just went over and added some watercolor to add a little bit of color to the edges. The the envelope is stamped with um, Background Basics Art Deco. So I hope you have fun with this idea and I can't wait to see what kind of wraps you'll make. Um, you can do stamping. You don't have to do watercolor. Um, make whatever kind of wraps that you want to make for your project. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.